How is everyone doing out there? I hope everyone's doing fine and today I'm again back with the six questions which I always bring to answer. Right, so here I go and open my book. So, let's move on to question number one, which is the first question of the day. Right, so what animal has the highest blood pressure? What animal has the highest blood pressure? Any idea about what blood pressure is? Okay, so I myself have heard uh, some people like some of my grandparents and sometimes my parents are also saying that they have high blood pressure, low blood pressure and all that. But I also don't have a very clear idea about what this high blood pressure is. There is something like that. Right. So, what animal has the highest blood pressure? Monkey, giraffe or whale? Monkey, giraffe or whale? To tell you in frank, I don't know what the answer for this is. Because a monkey, giraffe and whale, the animal with the highest blood pressure. I guess it could be giraffe. Yeah, let's say it's giraffe. I'm not sure, so let's go check. The answer is giraffe. Okay, so the answer was giraffe. So my answer was correct, right? So, giraffe has the highest blood pressure among animals. This is due to the fact that there is a large pressure drop as the blood is transported from the heart up to the neck and then to the brain, right? This is about twice the normal blood pressure of humans. Giraffes are found in the savannas in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam among the open plains and woodlands. Well known for their long necks, these gentle giants are the world's tallest living land animals. Right? An adult male can grow uh, to around 5.5 meters that's, th uh, that's taller than three adult humans. So, this, uh, what do you call, the male giraffe could grow more taller than three humans, like three times of a human's height, right? So, a giraffe's height is helpful for keeping a look out for predators such as lions. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts far away. Herbivore giraffes only eat plants. Their favorite grub is in the acacia tree and they use their long necks to reach the leaves and the buds in the treetops. Their long tongues also help them to pull down the leaves which are way too high. Right? So this giraffe is a very tall animal. Tall in the sense it's tall up to uh, the height of three humans. Yeah, probably a male could be like that. So. The giraffes use their tongue to pull down and to grab the leaves or uh, the buds in the treetops, right? So, uh, they may eat a lot. Giraffes don't drink much water. This is because they, most, uh, they get most of their water from their leafy males and only need to drink once every few days, right? They need to drink water only like after a few days, not uh, always like we do. We humans must have to, but not giraffes, right? So, giraffes are very social animals and they roam around in groups. These groups are called towers. Typically, they might have around uh, 15 members in a group. And to see who is stronger, males fight by butting their long necks and heads. So like uh, we ourselves, what we do like uh, in schools, what we do, 
See who's the strongest? We have a hand fight, right? So here these giraffes, they have a fight by butting their long necks. They use their necks to fight, the long necks they have, right? This is known as necking. These fights aren't usually dangerous. Uh, and in the end, when one bull uh, admits defeat and walks away, right? So one of it admits defeat and walks away, right? So in the wild, these beautiful creatures live for around 25 years, right? In captivity, they live longer and have been known to reach 40 years old. In the wild, they live up to around 25 years. Held in captive, they might sometimes live up to 40 years old also. Right, so with this, let's move on to question number two. Right, the age of a lion can be determined from its... The age of a lion can be determined from its... This is sort of a tough question. Because like our age, our age we could identify in a human might be from the height or might be from the wrinkles they get in their skin or might be from their voice. But what is it about this lion? The age of a lion, head, nose or teeth. The age of a lion can be determined from its head, nose or tail. I don't know. Let's go check. The answer is nose. Okay, so the answer was nose, right? So you can determine the age of a lion from its nose. I don't know how, but let's see. By seeing the color of the nose, we can determine the age of lions. Lions usually live in groups of 10 or 15 animals called prides. So a group of lions is called a pride, right? So an adult male's roar can be heard up to 8 kilometers away, right? So the sound, the sound which the lion makes is a roar. And it can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. And that's like wow. Okay, so a female lion needs 5 kilograms of meat a day. A male needs 7 or more a day. Means 7 kilograms or more. The name for a baby lion is a cub or a lionet. Lions go on hunt for food mostly from dusk until dawn. Right? Female lions do uh, means from 85% to 90% of the prides do hunting the female. And the male lions patrol the territory and protect the pride. In the wild, lions live for an average of 12 years and up to 16 years also. They live up to 25 years in captivity, right? So, when they're in the wild, they can live up to 12 or 16 years. And then if they're held in captivity, they can live up to 25 years. Often known as the king of the jungle, most lions actually live in the savanna or grasslands. Just one population of the wild forest dwelling lions remains in the Gibb Forest Park in India. Right? So, female lions reach two-thirds of their adult size by the time they are two years old. Lions run at a speed of up to 81 kilometers per hour. Right? Lions hunt large animals such as zebras and wild beasts. Right? A uh, lion, right? Lion is a small animal compared to a zebra, right? But still, a lion could hunt a zebra. That's like the lion is so powerful. That is why it's called the king of the jungle, right? A king. Okay, so our countries also were earlier ruled by a king, right? Why was he known as the king? 
That is because he could rule the whole territory. He could rule his whole country or the territory. That is why he was known as the king. And nobody could go above him, right? So here also in the jungle, he's known as the king of the jungle, which means no one's above him. And hunting zebras is not very difficult for him, right? Okay, so moving on to question number three. What is the young of a cola called? What is the young of a cola called? Right, fry, called, or joy? Fry, called, or joy? I guess it's joy because I've heard the young of a cola being called as joy. Yeah, so let's go and have a check on it. The answer is a joy. Okay, so my answer was correct. And these colas are found in eucalyptus forests of Eastern Australia. They have grey fur with a cream coloured chest and strong clawed feet perfect for living in the branches of trees. Right? So, colas measures about, I mean, colas measure ab about 60 centimeters to 85 centimeters long and they weigh up to about 14 kilograms. Right? So, although you may have heard people call them cola bears, these awesome animals aren't bears at all. Right? That means calling them cola bears is completely wrong. They are in fact marsupials, a group of mammals which have uh, pouches where their new bones develop, right? They have a pouch sort of a thing where their new bones develop, like in kangaroos, like that, right? When an infant cola called a joy is born, it immediately climbs up to its mother's pouch. Blind? And earless, a joy uses its sense, a strong sense of touch and smell, as well as a natural instinct to find its way out. Right? A joy grows and also develops in the pouch for about six months. Right? Once uh, strong enough, the youngster rides around on its mother's back for a further six months, only using the pouch to feed. Right? So the colas grow up to uh, become big eaters, right? Colas grow up to become uh, to become big eaters, shifting up to one kilogram of eucalyptus leaves in a day. They are fuzzy too, right? Uh, and they select the most nutritious and the tastiest leaves from the trees from wherever they live, right? So that is it about the young colas, right? They are not cola bears, they are colas, right? It's completely wrong if you call them cola bears. Okay, so uh, I think it's better. I go back home and check whether I've left the rest of, I mean, whether I've left the rest of the questions at home. So I've got the rest of the questions with me now. Right, moving on to question number four. Right? Okay. What is a group of otters called? What is a group of otters called? I know the answer for this, but it's not, but it does not mean that I will leave the other answers unread. I'll read the others too. What is a group of otters called? Family. Prickle nest. Family, prickle or nest. It's family. A group of otters is called a family because I've heard this. Right. So, just for your reassurance, let's go have a check on the answer. The answer is family. Okay. So,
So I told you my answer was correct. A group of otters is called a family, right? A group of otters is called a family, right? The otter is a carnivorous mammal in a branch of the vessel family called Leotrinae. There are 13 species of otter found all around the world. An otter's den is called a hold or a couch, right? At home also we have a couch where we lie down, right? So this is not a couch like that. The couch which is meant here is the otter's den, the place where the otter lives, right? A group of otters is called a bevy, family, lodge or romp. Uh, or when in water, the group is called a raft also. Otters live up to 16 years in the wild. The European otter or the Eurasian otter are found in Europe, Asia, parts of North Africa and British Isles. Right? Now here I am going to move to question number 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So, which is the largest city in India? Which is the largest city in India? India is situated close to Sri Lanka, right? The country which protects Sri Lanka, right? The country which is just on the top of Sri Lanka when you see in the world map and that is India, right? So, what is the largest city in India? And I'm bound to know the answer for this is because this is the closest country to Sri Lanka. I'm bound to know the answer for this. For sure I know the answer for this. Let's see what the answers are. New Delhi, uh, Jaipur, Mumbai. New Delhi, Jaipur or Mumbai and it's obviously Mumbai. I know it for sure. Let's go have a check what the answer is correctly. The answer is Mumbai. Right, I told you my answer was correct, right? It was Mumbai, which is the largest city of India. And don't forget this ever, 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 because we have to keep this in mind. India is a neighboring country, right? So what is the largest country? I mean, what is the largest city in India? That is Mumbai, right? So moving to question number six. Match the name with the picture. Right? You have a picture given here and you have to match the names which I give with the picture you find here. Right? So, okay. The picture given here, what is it? Is it Benagil Sea Cave in Algev, Portugal? Blue Lagoon Island in Bahamas? Or the Siam Reap in Cambodia? What is it? Actually, I have not been to all these places, so I don't know properly what this place is. Let's go check what the place is. The answer is Benagil Sea Cave, Algev, Portugal. Okay, so the answer was Benagil Sea Cave, Algar, Portugal. Benagil it's a small Portuguese village in the Atlantic Ocean, I mean in the Atlantic coast in the municipality of Lagoa in Portugal. Up to the late 20th century, the village's economy was based on ocean fishing. Now it is a tourist area with a widely used beach. This village and beach are located close to the world famous Marinha Beach. Banajal Caves are most popular ones of all the maritime caves in Portugal. So right, that is it about this Banajal Cave uh, in Portugal, right? Banajal Sea Cave in Portugal, right? So, uh, yeah, that is it. And there comes to the end of the six questions which I got today as homework. Right, so you helped me a lot to find the answers. You killed my boredom by being here, right? Because usually we get a little bored once we go to do homework. That is not what it should be, right? We never get bored by watching television. 
what we do get while do homework, right? Okay, so it's true that we get bored while doing homework, but what to do? Homework is a must, you have to do. Okay, now what I tell you is when I rush home, you also rush. Open up your books, do your homework and be good children, right? Be good friends of mine. Work like I do. Okay, so <clears throat> you can send your questions to my address which you see over here or else you can WhatsApp them or wipe them to the number note seven six eight two one double two double six right make sure to have your parents when you do all these things or else if you want to see me on other days also what you i mean what you have to do what you have to do is to follow my instagram facebook and twitter pages which is called a plus tv and yes you have to subscribe to our youtube channel which is a plus tv okay so until i'll be back stay safe bye bye Thank you.